A very good morning to all. So today we'll continue from page number 63 that is diversity of India through the lenses. So what do you understand by this through the lenses? That means collection of pictures taken by the camera. So here you can see many pictures. You can see the diversities of India. Different types of dance forms, different styles of painting, different land forms, wildlife centuries and many more. So today we will be discussing about these diversities of our country. Now here you can see the different forms of classical dance. The first one you can see Bharat Natyam. It is a classical dance form of Tamil Nadu state. Next one is Kathagali and it is a classical dance form of Kerala state. Next one is Satriya and this is a classical dance forms of the state Assam. So there are eight classical dance forms. Three are already given here. The fourth one is Kuchibudi from Andhra state, Odissi from Odisha, Manipuri from Manipur, Kathak from North India and Mohini Atam from Kerala. So this was about the different classical dance forms. Next you can see here Gulmarg. It is located in Kashmir and Gulmarg is a town, a hill station which is very popular for sky destination. The best time to visit Gulmarg is in the month of Jan and Feb. Next one is Chitrakut Falls which is located in Chhattisgarh and it is a natural waterfall. It is also known as Niagara of India and its height is about 29 meters and it is the natural water source on the river Indravati. Next is Pangon Lake. It is located in Ladakh and it is one of the high altitude lake and it is surrounded by heavy glaciers and hills covered with snow. Usually the temperature remains around 5 degree to 10 degree in summers and in winters this lake freeze completely. So this was about Pangon Lake which is located in Ladakh. Next is White Run that is located in Gujarat. It is also known as the Greater Run of Kutch in Gujarat. Now this is famous for white salty desert sand and it has the hottest temperature which is recorded in India. So this was about white run. Next one is magnetic hill and this is located in Ladakh. Now this magnetic hill has the magnetic properties. Now when the engine of a vehicle is off you can see that this magnetic hill pulls the vehicle towards itself and it is said that the passing aircrafts increase their altitude to escape from the magnetic properties of this magnetic hill. So this was about the magnetic hill which is located in Ladakh. Next one is Bandhavgarh National Park which is located in Madhya Pradesh. Now, this park is known for its large population of Royal Bengal Tigers. Next one is Majuli which is one of the largest river island and it is located in Assam. This is a river island in Brahmaputra river. Next is Hampi and it is in the south Indian state of Karnataka. It consists of temple and you can see that these temples are made up of rocks and it is declared as one of the UNESCO's World Heritage Sites. Next is Madhubani paintings of the state Bihar. Now this painting is an ancient style of painting which was originated around 2500 years ago. Usually these paintings were done by women of that region within the courtyard of their house. Later on, it became known in the outside world. Next style of painting is Wali painting and these are known as the tribal paintings which were done by the tribal people of the state Maharashtra. Nowadays, you can see this style of painting in various dress materials. 
next we'll discuss about root bridge now this we can see in the state of meghalaya and you can see that this is a suspension bridge which is formed by the living plant roots of the tree and it is about 50 meter long next is the natural bridge this bridge is also known as the havra bridge and you can see it is located in neel island this bridge is made up of rock that is by the rock erosion by the process of wave actions and it is located in the andaman and nicobar islands so this was about the different diversities of our country india so that's all for today we will meet in the next class thank you